Hello guys and welcome to another episode of The Journeyman. I know what you're thinking, you're all acting the Columbo and you're saying, wait just a minute Jack, are you really wearing a Germany shirt just so the German public will be on your side and hopefully eventually convince their chairman to purchase you and take you out of the championship and take you to the German league where you want? Have you really bought a t-shirt, a football shirt, an expensive shirt just to do that? Yes I have, roll the intro. <laughs> Hello everyone, thanks for joining me again on The Journeyman. We have played some games, we're 16 games through the season, we're comfortably in a playoff spot. The problem with FIFA, okay, and I don't, I don't want to go for another rant because I feel like I've done this 50 times on live stream, is some of the teams are just too good. So I imagine West Brom have been promoted every year and been relegated every year, and when they're in the championship it goes like this. Swansea, they're a myth, okay, we played them, we don't need to talk about Swansea ever again hopefully. And it looks like them two are just going to go up. We're already 13 points off the boil. And I doubt we'll catch up with that. So we're going to have to make sure we get a playoff spot. But hey, let's be a bit more upbeat than that. We're going to move to Germany eventually. I've done my pandering now to the Dash German Publico. And today we are up against a huge side in Barnsley, Norwich and Middlesbrough. Three big games. Why are they big? I don't know. You tell me. Have we been called up? No, we have not been called up. So, whilst you've been away, the games we played in between, it's gone well. We haven't been scoring many, but we've been assisting a lot. I'd be surprised if we don't have the most assists in the division. I thought the move to 4-3-3 would lead to more crosses coming in. It hasn't. Now that we don't have uh, a central attack in mid, where Carrillo played at Al Hilal, me and him played a lot of 1-2s. So I'd give it to him, he'd give it back on through don't really have that anymore, so instead I'm holding it up and then playing it into the wingers or the centre mids that are running beyond me. I've become what I despise, Carrillo. A little knee pass to Fratezzi. Back to, it's lovely football, why has he not played that and he's waited too long? I'm not going to get there now. Benedict Tony, the battering ram. That is lovely football. Benedict Tony, a touch to get it out his feet. Do you know what? I just had a dream of that going spinning far corner and as soon as I shot I thought what? It's like me waking up from a dream where I'm an astronaut and then the next day buying a rocket and being like well you know I had a dream. It's hardly Martin Luther is it? So it's kind of a shadowy overcast on my face. If I was Stanley Kubrick I'd say it's cinematography. This is the same part of Jack where the mind is however what he sees on the field is darkened. Because of this I could save Sherpin. Junior Ito could be in here. He's very fast, Junior Ito, but he's just awful at finishing. But he can cross. Oh, Johan V. Oh, good tackle, Sergino. Brilliant, well played. I'm glad we've given it straight back away. Cabano can play it quickly. I'll go over to Fratezzi. Drive with it, Fratezzi. Don't do that. Why would you do that? Well, we're having the run of this game. We just can't seem to actually uh, make any concrete chances. Which is fine. You know, they're, they're not important, are they? We need to be winning games to make sure we... Uh, secure a playoff place. Maybe push for automatic, but I already think they're too far ahead. Benedict Tony, bit of strength, far corner. This is why I like to be the target, man. Look, he comes near me here. Get out. Get out of my swamp. 1-0, Benedict Tony. Oh, we're going to have the usual Fulham second half syndrome problem. Yeah, we might. 1-0, three minutes into the second half. Brilliant. Glad I managed to jinx that. Makes me feel really good. Suddenly that overcast shadow is getting deeper and deeper as I fall towards the abyss. Look, I'll just chest this down. Look at this bullying, absolute bullying play. Bully him as well. Penalty. Unbelievable. He made that hard work. Tony's kept it. Half hour to play. We can't drop points to Barnsley, surely. They've been like the whipping boys in the championship for the last 30 years. Good ball. Tony. Oh, what is that? That's a great ball. Fratezzi, please. Why have you given it straight back to me, you lunatic? Why? I didn't call that. You can watch that. Didn't even call it. I wasn't greedy and like, pass to me, I want to score. That really panicked me. Should I have done better under pressure? Almost certainly. Have another go, Fratezzi. Brilliant. I bigged up Fratezzi. I called him Javi. This is how he repays me. Me and Fratezzi with a 1-2. Fratezzi's made space. I forgive... Oh, I don't forgive you. It's come in. 
Tony, flicks it on. Ito, flicks it in. Tony, oh, I can't quite get there. Win it. It's still alive. Oh, why did I try to fake? Ah, one all with Barnsley. Barnsley. Last year we were playing big teams like Al Fede and Al Wede. Now we're losing to Bar we're drawing to Barnsley. So you can see we're second through assists so far. This is embarrassing. They've paid 60 million for me, a striker. Not even on the first page of top scorers. 19th. How's your luck? Looks like it's international break time. For some reason, I haven't been called up. <laughs> Get that Italian manager's brain tested. Right, we've got Norwich next. Norwich and then Middlesbrough. Where are Norwich? 10th. Away against Norwich. We need a win. We need a win. Dash wonderful Germans. Come and shave me, please. Here we go. We're at Caro Road. The real Caro Road. Man City have fallen here in recent times, okay? This is not... I say, it shows how behind I am on the world. Coronavirus is messing with my head. Man City lost here in September 2019. We are in October 2023 on this game. Man City lost here four years ago, so there's no 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 embarrassment if we lose. Onoma, finds me. Little bit of strength, little bit of strength, little bit, little bit of dribbling ability. Unbelievable. No protection in England. Italy, Saudi Arabia. You know, I felt like I was allowed to be fouled. Here, they just never give it. Do you think we'll ever be at a club where it's just plain sailing, or do you, do you, do you think I'm just not good enough for that? Like, at one point, will we be at PSG and just win 38 games a season? And every episode, I'll be sat here going, ah, ha, ha, ah, ha, ha, isn't this great? Instead of just losing my mind every episode, it feels like. Right, we've got a lot of support. Gone to Caval... Oh, I'm going to gouge my eyes out. Are you two having fun? Hernandez and Radnovic. You really enjoying yourself? I've got viewers to entertain here, and you two think it's alright to just pass it between yourselves in the corner. Brilliant, what a, what a sequence. Half time, what a game. Yeah, it's not been a bad one so far. Look how deep we play it around. Other teams play it around like 30 yards from our goal. We kick it about 30 yards from our goal as well. And lose it when we go forward. Steeperman. Best chance of the game is a header from outside the penalty area. Oh, really? Good save, Sherpa. Rid. Not Sean Raggett. Oh, thank God. I mean, he really should have scored, shouldn't he? Good ball. What the f... We are being bullied out there by Norwich, of all teams. I wouldn't mind if Barnsley or Burnley bullied us. Not Norwich. Stick up for yourself. Cissé. Fratesi. The Javi of Fulham. Fratesi. The Javi of Fulham. Fratesi. The Javi of Fulham. I've lost it again. I've lost the ball every single time I've had it today. This has been a, a dreadful performance. But Norwich aren't good. It's not Swansea levels of, wow, they're really good. This is just us being absolutely dire. I'd almost prefer if we did lose, because we deserve it. I really hope we don't lose. Go across. Oh, this way. Stop going between yourselves. Fratezzi. It's lovely football. The Fulham. The Fulham of London. The Barcelona of London have done it. Blimey. We have been dreadful this game. An 89th minute, we pull that out of our, you know, area. I mean, look how grim that looks. <laughs> it's just so grey, windy and raining. Look at this. Back heel here. Back heel here. Wow, what a goal. Can't even enjoy it. If we'd smashed them all game and scored that, I'd be like, wow, we've done it. We do not deserve to score a goal that pretty. Bloody hell, that was a very needed win. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. A 1-0 win. But not good stuff. Take that back, Jack. Take that back right now. Here we go. First home game of the episode. We are back at Craven Cottage with that wicked old Craven watching us from her cottage. <sighs> Come on, let's play some good football this game, yeah? I mean, look, Middlesbrough have already... What? They're playing a 5-3-2, the most defensive formation in the world. And all of their central midfielders look like Lee Catamar. I expect that we will have 70% of the ball. Look how deep they are already, for goodness sake. Oh, I should have scored. 
Benedict Tony says, sit deep, I'll run at you like a steam train. Italian train keeps on rolling, rolling down the river. We didn't score from the corner, by the way. Here we go. The full of a back, baby. I can feel it in my bones. I've lost the ball. Awesome, well played. Not there, not there, Sergino. Good save. Oh, didn't go in, by the way. Get rid. Get rid. Get rid. Get rid. Get rid. We've conceded. Superb. Against the team playing with eight defenders, we've conceded. Worst thing is, when someone looks at the match stats of this, it's going to look like they've had a hundred shots, but it was just within that five second spell. I put so much effort into that little video package when we joined Fulham. I made us and Fulham really look like underdogs. It turns out we're the only underdog and Fulham are just giant arseholes. Flatezzi. Junior Ito. To Benedictone. Have you ever seen me get tackled so much? Right, we've been tackled there, but we've actually kept the ball. Right, we've been tackled there, but we've actually kept the ball again. Tony, what a strike! What a strike! We, you saw the power of Benedict Tony there to hold on to the ball twice when tackled. Makes a bit of space. I think it was our good friend, never slagged him off, Fratezzi, who found us. First time. Crash, bang, wallop, what a strike. 1 0. We move. Good save, Sherpin. If we can win this, that's. Two wins from three. That's seven points from nine. Doesn't feel like that this episode, does it? But it can be that if we can just turn our brains on for 45 minutes. Jesus Christ. The post again is our ally. Coming round you, Junior. Coming round you. We've let it go through our legs. Made it. Skip. Skip the replay. Skip the replay, of course. Don't want to watch that back. It's our good friend Fratezzi. Ito, back to us. Tony! You just felt it. You just felt it when it came to my feet there. Benedict Tony, second of the game. 2-1. The Fulham are back, baby. <laughs> I hope you never doubted us. Half hour to play. Let's just hold on to it, shall we? Well played, Sergino. I think Sergino is probably the one person in the team who's really lived up to expectations. Flatezzi and Cissé. Look, we're getting, that, we're getting that famous Fulham swagger back here. Evangelista tackled. I get involved and we lose that swagger. We go from Snoop Dogg to, uh, I don't know, who, who's not swaggy? Chris Tarrant. Foul. How have I not won? One foul this video, eh? 15 minutes to play. Let's hold on. Hackney. What is that pass? Okay. This is Middlesbrough we're up against. And one of the central midfielders has just played an absolutely genius pass. Look at this. One touch. Just dinks it in behind. Two all. Two all against Middlesbrough. Come on, Benedict. Switch on. Good ball. Tony. Front post. Oh, could have been the hat trick. Could have been the hat trick in the game winner. I ran front post. I hit the front post. We're in again. Fratezzi, run. Fratezzi, run. Fratezzi, surely. Touch. Fratezzi. I never doubted him. Not for a second did I doubt him. Fratezzi gets a huge goal. Ooh, we turned it on at the end there, didn't we? 3-2 to Fulham. What a game. Sometimes I feel like a puppet master waiting. It's awful defender. If that was me, though, would have just kicked through me and it wouldn't have been, been a foul. Davide Fratezzi makes it 3-2. Get off the pitch, you bastard, Fratezzi. You've done nothing all game. Right, let's hold on, shall we? There's a minute of added time to go. Nobody's closing him down for some reason. Yes, we forced him back. Blow the whistle, ref. Blow the whistle, ref. Blow the whistle, ref. Blow the whistle, ref. Blow... Why would you give away a corner? Out of all the things to do, why would you give away the corner? The one way the whistle doesn't blow. Corner's whipped in. It's over me. Sherpin gets rid. Blow the whistle. 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 Blow the... Wh oh, it's gone wide. It's gone wide. Look at that time. That was much tenser than it needed to be, wasn't it? A 3-2 win. A good way to end the episode, I think. I'm going to go and have a lie down, I think. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like. Comment below saying that you love me. Always makes my heart sing with joy. Let your friends know about the journeyman. We're doing something special here. See you on Friday for the next one.